Hey, Elon Musk, 24 hours here. In the heart of Florida, a massive rocket stands silent on its launch pad. Blue Origin's New Glenn, named after astronaut John Glenn, represents years of engineering and billions in investment. The space industry has been holding its breath for this moment. But like many ambitious projects in spaceflight, the path to launch has been anything but straightforward. The story of New Glenn's first launch reads like a roller coaster of expectations. From its initial target in late 2024 to a promising January 6th date, and now to January 10th, a date that happens to align with SpaceX's next Starship launch. This scheduling coincidence has set the space community buzzing with speculation and excitement. Behind these shifting dates lies a complex web of challenges. In August last year, an upper stage sustained damage during transport, and another was lost during stress testing. These setbacks have added new chapters to New Glenn's development story, forcing Blue Origin's new CEO, Dave Limp, to assemble a special team of executives to guide the company through these crucial moments. January 10th now looms as a pivotal day in space history, with two giants of the industry potentially reaching for the stars simultaneously. While Blue Origin aims to prove its capabilities with New Glenn, SpaceX prepares its revolutionary starship for another test flight. The stage is set for what could be one of the most remarkable days in commercial spaceflight. Let's dive right in. The tale of Blue Origin's New Glenn is more than just a story about rocket development. It's a narrative that embodies the complex journey of private space exploration, where ambition meets reality and where the dreams of billionaires clash with the unforgiving laws of physics. When Jeff Bezos formally announced New Glenn in 2016, the space industry was already transforming. SpaceX had begun landing rockets, and the promise of reusability was no longer just a dream. Bezos, with his characteristic long-term thinking, positioned New Glenn as something different, a rocket that wouldn't just match the competition, but exceed it. With the capability to lift 45 metric tons to orbit, New Glenn was designed to be a true heavy lifter, a rocket that could help realize Bezos' grand vision of moving heavy industry off Earth but the path from vision to reality has been anything but smooth. The development of New Glenn reveals a deeper truth about the modern space race, that money and ambition alone aren't enough to bend the laws of physics. The recent series of delays tells a story of engineering challenges that even billions of dollars can't easily solve. The pivotal moment came in August last year, when an upper stage of the rocket sustained significant damage during what should have been routine transportation to a hangar. This wasn't just a minor setback, it was a stark reminder of the fragility of these enormous machines. In a separate incident that sent shockwaves through the company, another upper stage failed catastrophically during stress testing, literally exploding under pressure. These weren't just technical glitches, they were warnings that something fundamental needed to change. Enter Dave Limp, Blue Origin's new CEO, who found himself facing a challenge that went beyond just fixing technical problems. The company's culture itself needed transformation. Years of operating under the slow is smooth and smooth is fast philosophy had created an environment where caution sometimes bred stagnation. Limp's response was bold, assembling a team of executives specifically tasked with injecting new energy and direction into the company. This wasn't just about meeting deadlines. It was about changing the very DNA of Blue Origin. The decision to schedule New Glenn's maiden flight for January 10th, coinciding with SpaceX's Starship launch, adds another layer to this unfolding drama. Some see it as a deliberate challenge to SpaceX, a statement that Blue Origin is ready to compete on the biggest stage. Others view it as a risky move that puts unnecessary pressure on a team already working at its limits. The truth likely lies somewhere in between. A combination of competitive spirit and the simple reality of launch windows and weather conditions. What makes New Glenn truly special isn't just its size or capabilities. It's what it represents for the future of space exploration. The rocket's massive 7-meter payload fairing, nearly 2 meters wider than that of the Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy, isn't just a technical specification. It's a physical manifestation of Bezos' vision for humanity's future in space. This extra width might seem like a small detail, but it's crucial for the types of missions Blue Origin envisions. Launching entire sections of space stations, 
solar arrays, and the infrastructure needed for a permanent human presence in space. The rocket's design philosophy reflects a different approach to the space race. While SpaceX has built its reputation on rapid iteration and learning from failures, Blue Origin has taken a more methodical approach. Every component of New Glenn has been tested and retested, often to the point of frustration for outside observers. But this caution comes from a deep understanding of the stakes involved. In the space industry, failure isn't just measured in dollars. It can mean the difference between success and catastrophe. The competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX isn't just about rockets. It's about competing visions for humanity's future in space. Bezos sees a future where Earth becomes a residential zone, with heavy industry moved to space, while Musk focuses on making humanity multiplanetary. New Glenn is designed to serve both visions, capable of launching both the infrastructure needed for space manufacturing and the components for deep space missions. The commercial implications of New Glenn's success extend far beyond Blue Origin. The company has already secured billions in contracts, including agreements with Amazon's Project Kuiper for satellite launches and deals with various commercial partners for their space station project, Orbital Reef. The U.S. Space Force has also placed its trust in Blue Origin, selecting them alongside SpaceX and ULA to compete for nearly $6 billion in national security launch contracts. But perhaps the most ambitious aspect of New Glenn's first flight is the planned recovery of its first stage booster. This isn't just about copying SpaceX's success. It's about proving that Blue Origin can achieve the same level of reusability with a much larger rocket. The physics of landing a rocket the size of New Glenn on a drone ship are staggering. After separating from the upper stage, the booster must execute a precise series of maneuvers, fighting against atmospheric forces while precisely controlling its descent to land on a moving platform in the ocean. The stakes for this first landing attempt couldn't be higher. Success would immediately establish Blue Origin as only the second company in history to achieve orbital class booster recovery. Failure, while not catastrophic for the program, would raise questions about the company's ability to compete in an industry where reusability is becoming the norm. The technology being tested goes beyond just the rocket itself, the mission will carry the Blue Ring Pathfinder Demonstrator, a crucial piece of technology for Blue Origin's future space operations. This system, developed in partnership with the Department of Defense's Innovation Unit, is designed to serve as an in-space rideshare vehicle, capable of delivering satellites to different orbits after the main launch. It's a technology that could revolutionize how we deploy satellites and maintain space infrastructure. As January 10th approaches, the space industry holds its breath. This isn't just another rocket launch. It's a moment that could reshape the commercial space landscape. Success would validate Blue Origin's methodical approach and establish them as a serious competitor in the orbital launch market. It would also prove that there's room for different approaches in the space industry, that the rapid iteration favored by SpaceX isn't the only path to success. The real message here isn't just about rockets or competition. It's about the transformation of space access from a government-dominated field to one where private companies can pursue different visions and approaches. New Glenn represents a bet on a future where space isn't just a destination for pioneers and explorers, but a place where humanity can expand its industrial and economic horizons. The tale of Blue Origin's New Glenn is more than just a story about rocket development. It's a narrative that embodies the complex journey of private space exploration, where ambition meets reality, and where the dreams of billionaires clash with the unforgiving laws of physics. As we stand on the brink of this historic moment, the space industry finds itself at a fascinating crossroads. New Glenn isn't just another rocket. It represents a bold step toward a future where multiple companies can compete and innovate in space. Whether Blue Origin succeeds in landing their massive booster on January 10th or faces new challenges, one thing is certain. The commercial space race has entered a new era where competition drives innovation and different visions of humanity's future. In space can coexist and evolve. I'm Elon Musk, 24 hours, bringing you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. If you want to stay updated on the new Glenn launch, and other groundbreaking space developments, 
Hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Blue Origin's chances of success with their first landing attempt? Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and share it with anyone interested in the future of space exploration. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. In the realm of space exploration, some challenges seem insurmountable. Among them stands the fully reusable heat shield, a puzzle that has stumped aerospace engineers for decades. Yet in a recent announcement that sent shockwaves through the space community, Elon Musk revealed SpaceX's boldest ambition yet, mastering this technology by 2025. A truly reusable orbital heat shield has never been made, Musk stated, his words carrying the weight of both challenge and promise. But why is this seemingly simple component so crucial? Picture this, 18,000 interlocking tiles, each one vital to protecting spacecraft from the inferno of atmospheric re-entry. Every tile must perform flawlessly, not just once, but multiple times, with minimal maintenance between flights. The stakes couldn't be higher. Previous test flights have shown the brutal reality of re-entry, with tiles breaking or falling off. But SpaceX isn't just accepting these limitations. They're revolutionizing the entire approach. From enhanced pin systems to innovative blade layers, from ceramic to metallic shields, every failure has led to a breakthrough. Recent developments suggest we're on the cusp of something extraordinary. The red tiles appearing on Starship S-35's nose cone, the successful re-entries of recent missions, and SpaceX's ambitious testing schedule all point to one conclusion, the impossible might just become possible. Welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're diving deep into how SpaceX plans to achieve what many thought impossible, a fully reusable heat shield that could transform space travel forever. Let's dive right in. The journey to a fully reusable heat shield isn't just about technological advancement. It's about transforming our access to space itself. Let's break down why this development is so revolutionary and how SpaceX plans to make it happen. Think about the current state of spaceflight. Every time a spacecraft returns from orbit, its heat shield tells a story of survival. The shuttle's ceramic tiles, each one carefully inspected and often replaced after every flight. The countless hours of maintenance, the meticulous attention to detail, and still the constant worry about damage during re-entry. This is the reality that SpaceX is determined to change. What makes SpaceX's current approach different? It starts with the numbers. 18,000 tiles, each one designed to withstand temperatures that would melt steel. But it's not just about surviving the heat. It's about doing it again, and again, and again. The holy grail of spaceflight, true reusability. The evolution of SpaceX's heat shield technology reads like a thriller, with each test flight revealing new challenges and opportunities. Early attempts saw tiles falling off during flight, a heart-stopping sight for engineers and observers alike. But with each setback came innovation. The pin system that holds the tiles in place underwent multiple iterations, each one stronger and more reliable than the last. The material composition of the tiles themselves evolved, incorporating lessons learned from each mission. But the real game changer came with the introduction of the blade layers. These innovative components serve as a backup system, adding an extra layer of protection during the brutal re-entry process. It's like having an insurance policy against the extreme conditions of atmospheric re-entry. The effectiveness of this system has been proven in recent flights where successful re-entries were achieved despite the incredible stresses placed on the vehicle. Now SpaceX is taking things to the next level. The metallic heat shield Musk mentioned isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a complete paradigm shift. Traditional ceramic tiles are inherently brittle, but a metallic shield could offer unprecedented durability. This isn't just theoretical, SpaceX has already begun testing these new materials under extreme conditions. The integration of advanced cooling systems marks another leap forward. By utilizing water, methane, or nitrogen, these systems could actively manage the extreme temperatures during re-entry. This approach moves beyond passive heat resistance to active temperature control. 
a fundamental shift in how we think about thermal protection. The red tiles recently spotted on S35's nose cone tell us something crucial about SpaceX's progress. These aren't just cosmetic changes. They represent significant material improvements, likely incorporating lessons learned from previous flights. Each new iteration brings us closer to the goal of immediate reusability. But here's where things get really interesting. SpaceX isn't just developing this technology for Earth orbit. The company has already begun testing heat shield designs specifically for Mars missions. Recent test footage showed a new version of the shield enduring conditions